In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a stack bar chart and make sure that every bar of the stack bar chart has a border radius, as you can see here. By default, this will not work in Chart.js, but there are some hidden options that we're going to use. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to look how to add the border radius on each stack bar in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to go to chartjs3.com getting started this specific link which you can find as well in the description box so once you're on there scroll down and copy this chunk of code here once you copy this and if you want to understand this code make sure you watch this video here that explains it all i'll just paste it in here and cut out this and put that in here save and then refresh there we are so this works nicely, but let's maximize the size of it. Say 80% here. Save that, there we are. So now what I want to do is I want to make a stack bar chart from this. So what I will need is a second data set. So I'm just going to grab all of this, copy that, put a comma here, paste that in there. And I will say here, this is the red sales, which is basically the red bar here. Then, we have these numbers here and then another one here would be the black sales for the black bar which is the bottom color here so i say yeah the black sales and this i'll just give this three 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 so we have differences in here so i'm going to save this one and refresh there we are so the next thing what i want to do is of course make it stacked so how do you do that put an x scale and the x scale is a stack equals true and we do exactly the same here on the Y scale. Put a comma here at the end, save that. There we are. All right, so now we have this. So what I want to do here, and this is the normal structure we do. We put a, let's put a comma here. And if we say your border radius, then put it here 10, save, refresh. And what will happen is only the red one will be, and you might as well because we are in here, and that's why the red one has this border radius. That's not the case. By default in Chart.js, only the upper bar will have border radius. So if I copy this, put it in there, and save that, refresh, you might say, well, what's going on here? I should expect that. So if I even remove this, you say, well, it should basically give a border radius, but no, it just doesn't trigger it. All right, so luckily there's a very simple trick. Chart.js indicates somewhere that they have it, but it is there's no example of it so let's start to do this right now so what we're going to say instead of the border radius or we could even do this on border radius 10. all right that works and then next one what we want to do here is border skip we set this on false by default it is true meaning that the border at the bottom here is gone and same here so if i refresh here now all right border skip that is false and then I was expecting here probably as well have a border radius. There you are. Border skip both sides. So this works fine, but still not satisfying. Because what about this here? If I do here this, or if I remove this, this doesn't work. Save, refresh. All right. So let's start to do it the right way. All we have to do is we have to create an object. And in this object, we're going to say here top left. And let's give this 10 now. If I save this, Refresh, you can see here this one works. All right, then let's copy this and do the same here. Now both are now starting to have the trigger. So what I want to do, of course, is to do each of them. Top right 10, comma, bottom left uh, 10, and finally bottom right 10. I'm going to grab them all put them in here say refresh so if you want some space between here the only trick right now i have because we're not allowed to use offset here or offset just doesn't work here so far based to my best knowledge so what we can do is imagine you want to have we're going to make this solid the inner we're going to convert this all into a solid color then we have here the border with let's make this three pixels and basically this one we will eventually give it another color so the border color could be white like this but i think transparent would be more appropriate all right we forgot a comma here i guess save 
put a comma say here you are all right as you can see here now it's more suitable but if we go and look at these items here there's this white ugly border so what i will make here is transparent and maybe only one pixel that should be fine and i'm going to grab this apply it as well here above put that in there remove this border with here save there we are and I think this is quite decent and as you can see here that looks quite nice as well and that's basically how we can give every stack bar its uh, border radius so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to have like a combo bar and line chart where you have the line on top of a stack bar chart like this in that case I'm going to recommend you this video here on how to create a stack bar chart with with a line chart in chart.js.